Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're gonna test out this vintage metal mousetrap that has some very sharp teeth. Look at those across there. It's almost like a shark's mouth. It also has a powerful spring, so when this goes off, it does its own flip. This mousetrap has a real simple name. It's called the Trapper, and it was first patented by George Oakes of Crystal City, Missouri on March 26, 1968. This mousetrap has a good design, and it's very simple to set. You put the bait right there on the trigger pad through the hole in the top. I like to use peanut butter. Then you push the back and it locks into place. Those teeth are now ready to bite anything that touches the trigger pad, and it's very sensitive. There it goes flipping again. Now the mice can't resist the peanut butter. They'll come along in the slightest lick, and you got the mouse right on the head. Now this vintage metal mouse trap is not the only one that has the name Trapper. There's also one made out of black plastic, also called Trapper. It works in a similar way. What I'm gonna do is set these up side by side in the chicken coop and see which one works better, the modern plastic one or the old metal one. Let's go set up the motion cameras. I did a side-by-side -side test of the Trapper mouse traps, and even though the mice first checked out the new plastic version, it was the older metal trap from 1968 that got the job done. To remove it, you pull back the jaws and give it a little flip. Oops, I flipped the black trap as well. Now I had to be really selective in the footage I show on YouTube, so if you wanna see the full sequence of this trap in action, I'll put it on my website. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider hitting the button right there. I'm posting between four and five rodent trap videos a week, so if you want to see how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned. 